generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, even lift them up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and evil my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Then host shall cast against me. My heart shall not fear. The wall shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall have his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he have. Amen. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Sad and a happy occasion. At this time, we all gather here, amen, to celebrate a life well lived. And at this time, I'll turn it over to Pastor Chris Carter so he can continue with the service. Good morning, family and friends. At this time, I do ask that you prepare your hearts and minds to receive the United States Army Honor Guard as they pay tribute to Ms. McLean for her years of dedicated service to our country. I do ask that the playing of taps, those of you who are willing and able to please rest on your feet. Also, there will be a 21 gun salute, so please prepare yourselves for that as well. At this time, receive the United States Army Audit Card for Fort Jesus, Virginia.
trust me, Grace. Uh, yes, Grace, but first I honor God for being here. And I like to apologize because I called Pastor Stone and Pastor Carter because they both both my kids for me. And I'm always at somebody's funeral, but I do apologize. That was Pastor Chris Stone. Why you feel home? So I thank God for that. I'll read you the scripture and give you a prayer. And after that, we'll have a reading of Revelation. So, Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I thought John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things will be passed away. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this life well lived, oh God, we came to give you glory first, God, give you honor. God, I lift this family up to you, oh God. You promise that you'll wipe the tears and you'll even bear our pains. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, God, that they get stirred up in their soul, God, knowing that we've been willing to do it for night, but their joy will come in the morning. God, we thank you for everyone that's represented here to give privilege and honor to this young lady, God. And we thank you right now for even her path crossing our path. God, continue to bless us, God, that we'll worship you and honor you. We give your name praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
Probably that family. I think she was really fighting. I think she go back to her war club. Y'all know we sad out here. I know we ain't got God out here. But somebody give God a praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Pastor Chris, let me know you're on time. We're going to do, do it in order. Only two or three people at the most two minutes. Now, I'll tell them at church, now I shouldn't have to pull your coat, tail. I shouldn't have to say, sit down. All of us over two minutes, look at it. Don't, don't come up here. It's simple as that. <laughs> Amen. After that, we're going to have the door. We're going to close out the reflection. So I need the three people that's going to come to come quickly. So if you don't come quickly, I feel like you ain't got nothing to say right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now y'all know Miss Emma always has something to say. Whether mm -hmm. you like it or not, somebody say amen. 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 All right. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I have a resolution from her class. She graduated in the year 1964. Uh, this is from the Highland High School Grand Alumni Association. A resolution of tribute in love and memory of Mrs. Emma Lee James McLee. No matter what your trials are or how big your mountains seem, the Lord is there to see you through. He'll go to all extremes. So if your crowd seems hard to bear and you know not what to do, the one who loves you most of all will be there to see you through. We, the members of Howland High School Grand Alumni Association, gather to bid goodbye to our classmate, Emma Lee James McLee. Whereas Emma Lee James McLee was a member of the class of 1964. Whereas Emma Lee McLee was a devoted classmate and indeed, and indeed a friend. Whereas Emma Lee McLee was an active participant and strong supporter of the Highland High School and its grand reunion. Therefore, be it resolved, we prayerfully acknowledge that the grief of your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. We too share in your heartfelt sorrow. Be it further resolved that we will always cherish the fond memories of Emma Lee James McLean. We embrace the family with a common bond of love that will forever connect us. We recognize that your earthly loss is heaven's gain. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Humbly submitted on this second day of October 2023, Highland High School Grand Alumni Association, Gastonia, North Carolina. President George Hartlow Sr. and Secretary Constance W. Kennedy. I am Emma's sister. And um, I have a resolution from my church, the church we grew up in. I won't read it, but it's to her the children. We have two copies that will go to both her, the one to each of her daughters. Um, she was a member of St. Peter's Amazon Church at an early age when she gave her life to Christ. And she will be, ever be missed. Because I still attend that church, and I'm 68. We've been in that church for, since I was born, and before she was even born. But, and I also want to say, as a family, thank you all for coming. I know you all love my sister, and we love her. We miss her too. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Melinda Lee James. I met. Emma, two ways. I met her at college of William and Mary, and I also met her uh, through a friend named Ann that was one with my cousin Red. Emma, don't cry too long, because Emma was the best person. Yes. And, and when I thought about Emma, I said I had to come here. I had to. I waited till the last minute. But I had to come to see Emma because we always said we were cousins. I'm a James, she's a James. I found out later that Emma middle name is the same as mine. Melinda Lee James and Emma Lee James. We are cousins. <laughs> and when I came from, when I came down here, I said, well, we're about to come this far. Well, 
look at all the people up here. She was well known and well loved. So thank you all. Thank you very much.
don't just remember good times, but remember some bad. For life is full of many things, some happy and some sad. But if you must do something, then I have one last request. Forgive me the wrong I've done and with the love that's left. Thank God for my soul's resting. Thank God I've been blessed. Thank God for all who loved me. And praise God who loved me best. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Over there, and that's just ashes. 
the day Miss Emma wrapped up her body, she went to the be with the king. Come on, somebody. She's in the presence. She, she loved y'all. And she wouldn't even come back to you. Amen. Glory to God. If you love Jesus like you say you love him, she ain't coming back here. How many of y'all got bills to pay? How many of you got children you got to pray for all the time? Y'all can say, man, I'm going to be out here long. But what I'm saying is when we get with him, there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow. She don't have to worry about it. You know, when we get sick, we don't want to worry our children. <laughs> we think we're worried to our children. Nobody wants to bury their children. So she would have had it that way in her. She wouldn't want y'all to leave before her. I don't want to leave before. I don't want my kids to leave before me. But when I say just remember, remember all the bad days when they took. Children get upset at their parents sometimes. Y'all better say amen. amen. Sometimes I'm going to say, don't do that what you do. You do it anyhow. We tried talking about the fat back last night. And she said, Mama could cook that green and all that stuff. Think about them things. Think about when she was in the military. Now she is God. She is God's army. Amen. No such thing. The angels looking after us. Jesus paid the price. You know, just remember, just remember how Mary had to say, step, stand and watch them be her only son by the Holy Ghost because she had other children. But he had to feed them. And, and it was him all night long. He did it for all of us out here. My message is not to Miss Emma because she's better than we are. Yeah. My message to us is here. Yeah. If you don't know Jesus today in the part of your sin, you need to get it right. Amen. Right. Hey, if you got any heart against anybody in this family or somebody else's family, oh, we're living in the moments right about now. Yeah. We might not even make it out of this cemetery. He might crack the sky and his dead Christ going to get up. Yeah. And those that remain going to be caught up with him. Yeah. So I want to leave something for you to think about. Just remember, if you're not in the Lord today, you need to get the, a relationship. And when I used to drink, and I used to get drunk, I knew how to call on Jesus. Y'all better help me. I would call out and say, Jesus, I ain't going to do it no more. How many times we did something wrong? Raise your hand. And we said, we ain't going to do it no more. And we just run around and did it all over. And until we got beat so bad, we stopped. Just remember, Jesus brought us through all of this. Then he went to the grave for three days. Stayed in there and fucked that devil. Got to sit here like his seat. Got his key. Huh? And so I'm going back. And he said he's going back when he after the grave with the third day. He said, I'm going back to my father. And he's going to leave us a comfort. That's why I can do what I do. Because I know this earth is tapping and got the desire. I don't care how good we look today. I don't care how much clothes you got on today. You might be in one of them boxes. Or you might Christmas have you in one of them caskets. But you ain't going to rise with none of that stuff. Come on, somebody. All your big houses, all your pretty cars. Anybody ain't never seen about riding a car have you? Come on, somebody. Just remember, Jesus already paid the price that we could die and live forever. Miss Emma going to live forever. And you got to live this life that you're going to live again. Amen. Do y'all believe that? I'm not going to open the doors of the church because the doors of the church open. See all the doors open? He's listening at your heart right now. He's listening at your mind. He know what you're thinking before you even think it. He said in John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be troubled. All you got to do is give God the praise. Get the norm for yourself. Get that special relationship with him. So when you call, you know he's going to be right there for you. Just remember. Nothing Miss Emma won't want no better. But the thing is, I believe some people paint these pictures. It's not like that. She's not up there with my sister. She's not up there doing She's in the presence of the Lord. Yeah, waiting for all of us to be caught up, be back yes. on family reunion, then yes. we got to leave them up. Yes. But it was something that her and Lauren ain't up to. They probably, let's know who got the gym on the car. <laughs> 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 they told me how to play. They told me. Stay up to 4 o'clock in the morning trying to make it to church. <laughs> they at home sleeping. I'm trying to make it to church. Just remember all them good things. All them good things. Remember some of the bad things too. Because some bad things she read the form. We had none of us are perfect out here. Because if that's the case, you need to be out there in that cemetery. You didn't get everything you can do. So just remember Jesus paid the way. He is the truth, the way, and the way. It's very simple, and I'm done. Time or no time. I believe when you tell somebody something, the Holy Ghost tell you that's enough. That's enough. I don't want to choke you, but I know some of y'all here today, you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. You better get the knowledge. She's about to crack that sky. Amen. If I'm scared, y'all show hope so. Amen. Because he's coming. Yes. Somebody say, he's coming. Yes. He's coming back with Miss Emily. He's coming back with Joe. He's coming back with all our loved ones, and we're going to be caught up. 
to meet him in the air. I am done, and I'm pretending to Pastor Christopher. I ain't gonna say that name no more. Stone! Amen, somebody. Yeah. 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 How many of y'all know the Lord for yourself? Yeah. 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 I, I know because I, I got a family and I'm talking about the family party. Yeah. If you got anything against anybody, even right in this group, before you leave here, please go to him. Yeah. Please go to him. Because you might not make it back to tell, tell them sorry. I, I love you. And when you see, I told my girls or something, you did all you can do. Same. When you did the Same. last stroke with your mom, there's nothing else for you to do but say, Same. God, I thank you for giving me strength. Like and take care of my mom. Thank you. And Same. know that she, she appreciate it. Right. And one Same. more thing that I take my sister, when I went to see her, they were telling me I would rub Miss Emma arm. I said, girl, I'm going to be sexy just like you. <laughs> I was just going to say, Mom, I said, I would rub her, I would rub her and, and pray on at the same time. She told the girl, set me up. They said, Mama ain't told me, told me I was going to sit up with two men. I said, Mom, I'm going to be just like you. Mama, give God a hand clap. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my God. He has moved on today. At this time, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Apostle Simons for the words of encouragement, words of reflection, but words of love to this family and the friends that are in attendance. I would like to thank you, Tanya, for musical selections, those who gave tributes, as well as each and every one of you that have come out, sacrifice of your time and your, your I would say treasures, because we're not close to home. All y'all, I see all y'all from Williamsburg and even further, further out. This is not right around the corner. So this is an indication of the love that you all have for Ms. McLean. This is an indication of the type of person that your mama, grandma, your sister is. And I know you're looking at me wondering, how do you say is? We had a funeral. This is, that's supposed to be past tense. No, 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 no. Like the woman of God said, day that Miss Emma closed her eyes, she began life. She began an eternal life. She began an eternal existence that all of us would wish for or hope for. So as Clary and Paul went, went forward, if you don't know Jesus for yourself, even if you know who Jesus is, but you're not in right standing with him, which means that you are following him, that you are letting him lead you and guide you, if you're in a backslidden condition, get it right. Get it right. None of us are promised to get out of this cemetery. None of us are promised to see tomorrow. None of us are promised to go to sleep tonight. So get it right. There's nothing that you have to come up and do. You don't have to do no hubble, bubble, bubble, gum, or any of those kind of things. All you have to do is put on your heart at Romans 10 out of 10, which says, if you, if you confess Jesus Christ, and yeah. with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. I'm telling you, this life of salvation is the way to go because I don't know what tomorrow brings. I don't know what the other side looks like. But I've heard stories about, about hell. I've seen it in the book about hell. And I ain't interested in going there. It's going here on earth. I definitely don't want to be down there with the gnashing of teeth and fire and brimstone day in and day out. So again, I encourage you, family and friends, take a self-life inventory. If you're not right with Jesus, if you want to be in the presence of Miss Emma again, I encourage you to get it right. And that's how Miss Emma could not die and shall not die is because of legacy live on through each and every one of you. Amen. And if each and every one of you want to see her again, you will continue to live on because you will live the life that she has led, has lived, and you will live the life that you know that she would want you to do, family. And family, on behalf of the Tyson White, it's been a great honor and privilege to stand with you to serve you during this precious time in your lives. I do have a gift for you now with me, but I will make sure that you that you have it either later today or tomorrow as a memorial plaque that we, we created just for you all. Uh, through some technical difficulties, we were not able to get here at this time, but we are going to make sure that you have it. 
Amen. 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 This does conclude the home point celebration for Miss Emma Lee Bailey James McLean. May God bless you in your travels on this afternoon. Amen. Amen.